All right. You know, one of my viewers suggested that I do a video on finding answers. And the light bulb went off in my head and I was like, Egads, why didn't I think of this before? Hey, I'm stupid. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you how to use the power of the internet to find the answers you are looking for. Also, I'm going to show you how to add a custom search uh, that's already been pre-configured that will help you to find the answers that you're looking for easily for your Ubuntu-based Linux distribution. And we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. Now, the way I learned Linux was simply by asking Mr. Google a lot of questions. Mr. Google knows all, but knowing how to ask questions. Now, something that I'd like to point out is the fact that most most of the uh, distributions that I mention in my show and that I do tutorial do tutorials on are on using Ubuntu based installations. So for instance I'm using Pinguy OS here as my main operating system and so whenever I'm doing a search for let's say a driver or uh, maybe downgrading Compiz or anything like that I am going to ask Ubuntu. I can also search Pinguy's forms but they're not as comprehensive while I will admit they do have some really excellent tutorials and they also have a really cool search troubleshooter function and actually that link is going to be in the show notes. It is a long weird stringed address. I have it uh, written right here. and But this is actually a troubleshooter. It actually searches a number of Ubuntu based forums that will allow you to find the answer you're looking for. So I'm going to show you two different ways that I do searches to find answers to questions. Now, um, the one major thing I had a problem getting working in Linux, and now I have it working great, is the fact that my Kodak printer did not have a driver at the time that I switched to Linux. So what I did was I'd go to Google search, and then I'd just type in Ubuntu. Kodak ESP hyphen C310 since that's the model of my printer and just press enter and as you can see there is a forum for this online so I am not the only person that encountered this problem and this is usually a good place to start is to go into the forums and find uh, your answers. Of course, I actually participated on this forum and once I found out that the latest uh, CUPS driver was working, I actually contributed and I also linked to one of my videos compiling, uh, you know, for compiling the source for newbies. So that's one way that I give something back. If I can find an answer, I will actually contribute something back to the forums for the benefit of other people. And that is the nice thing about uh, the Ubuntu community and using an Ubuntu-based uh, distribution or uh, derivative, if you will, because of the fact that the community is so friendly and people want to take the time to try and help you find the answers and that sort of thing. And so there are a number of people who have, you know, submitted feedback regarding this. And then, of course, if you uh, go into the very end here, you will see where I actually made a contribution. And here I am, Spatry X. And uh, I even... Uh, you know, pointed out that there is a new driver available, it now prints in color, that sort of thing, and there is even a link to my video where I show you how to compile it from source. So you are going to find situations like this. So for instance, let's say you have a wireless card that you are not able to work. 
get working. And we have the NDIS wrapper. Well, since I've never had any experience with that, and I've had some people ask me some questions, I suggested that they go on Google search and look for it. Just say Ubuntu, the name of your card, and do a search for it and see if something comes up. A lot of times you will find an answer because there are a lot of people using this, millions of people worldwide. So that's a great option. Now, I want to uh, show you how to get this customized search if you don't would rather you know because you will see here that yeah you got some other things that you probably don't want to look at here in the search results you'll see uh, the best of all times the best you know of all times freeware that sort of thing but I'm kinda leery about visiting some of these sites because some of these are nothing more than a sales pitch you know, they just use keywords and that sort of thing. And by having a custom search, at least you can focus on getting to the meat and potatoes of what you're looking for rather than sifting through tons and tons and tons of uh, sales pitches. So at any rate, now, first, I'm using Firefox web browser, and this technique that I'm going to show you will only work in Firefox. You're going to need a plugin for this. So let's go ahead and click the Firefox button here, and then we're going to go into add-ons. You're going to need to do a search for this add-on, and uh, I forget what it's called, so I'm going to have to scroll through here and show it to you, because uh, it's been a while since I've done this. Okay, and... Okay, it's called Add to Search Bar 2.0. So you'll need to do a search for this, and you will then be able to add any search or even customize search to your bar. And we're even going to put this to a test in just a moment. So let's go ahead and we will visit this link that's going to be in the show notes below. Right click copy on this. Okay, and then we will right click, paste and go. Hmm, Firefox is using a lot of resources today, I noticed. Must be time to run Bleachbit again. Okay, and then you will see that this is called the PinGuy OS Problem Solver. And the uh, this will tell you the sites that it's going to perform a search on. It's going to search uh, helpubuntu.com. It's going to search forum.pinguyos.com. It's going to search uh, psychocats.net bugs.launchpad.net and a bunch of other uh, and Ubuntu forums. So there's a number of sites that are that are included in this search. So now let's do a search for that Kodak ESP C310. Actually, before I do that search, I wanted to show you with that plugin added, all you do is make sure the cursor is in the bar, right click on it and select add to search bar. When you do that, it will put a nice little icon in your list. You will see I already have it here. I've even added my own icon and just titled this Linux Answers. And again, you just right click on the bar in the empty area and select add to search bar. And then uh, you will be able to add this. And then anytime you need it, just pull it from the drop down here and then you just type in what you want. So let's do Kodak ESP C310. And as you can see, there are a number of listings here that will give me the answers that I'm looking for. without all the uh, rigmarole and jumping through all the hoops and everything. I think this is a wonderful search tool, but every now and then I still like to do it the old-fashioned way. Just go on Google and type uh, Ubuntu change screen resolution or something like that, you know, just to uh, get a quick and easy answer. Of course, I know how to change my screen resolution, but you get the idea. So if you are a newbie, Mr. Google knows all. This is how I learned how to use Linux. 
I realized that, you know, after having so many years of working with Windows, I was used to doing things one certain way, and so I had to ask Google how to do these uh, things in Linux. And as said before, the community is very friendly, they're always willing to help, and 99% of the time you're going to run into other people who have asked the same question that you're asking, and they already have an answer for it. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also tell your friends about my channel. I have a lot more good things headed your way. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.